Hello, dear friends. I am pleased to welcome you to this online worship service for Trinity and Church of the Isles, United Churches of Christ. My name is Shelley Wilson, and it's my joy to be the pastor of these two churches and also to welcome you to this online worship service. We want you to know as congregations that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, that you are welcome to this service, welcome and loved and celebrated in the eyes of the Creator who loves us and who sustains us in this life and in the life to come. I wanted to mention some things to you that I think will be of interest to you as you watch this service. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say that one of the joys of having two churches is that we have a diversity of worship styles and a diversity of gifts in our two worship services. And our two churches love to get together, but we don't get together all that often in physical uh, proximity to one another because we have two separate communities and locations and a bit of a different worship style. But this online presence, the online opportunity for worship, allows us the chance to be able to unite the gifts of our two congregations in unique ways that we haven't done before. So for today's worship service, we are sharing and we are trying to share the gifts of our various congregations um, all together as much as we can um, in the same service. So today, um, whatever day it is or night that you'll be watching this service or reading it, you will, if you listen to the online service, have the chance to hear our musicians, Shirley Hand and Don Hand from Church of the Isles, um, Winston Culler, who is from Trinity UCC, Larry Kruger and Andy Snedeker, um, who are also from Church of the Isles. Andy's actually from Naples, lives in Naples now, but his grandparents are members of Church of the Isles. Um, we have our reader, Susan Gilbert, who's from Trinity. So as you can see, we have a variety of people sharing worship. This time, this particular worship service, we have Mindy Picardo, who's going to be leading our children's time. Next sun Sunday, we will have Tina Allen, who is from Trinity, leading our children's time. So we have a whole variety of gifts and opportunities that we are able to share through our worship services together. I want to say thank you again to our online congregations and to the people who gather in our buildings when we do gather in our buildings for your patience, for your courage, for your wonderful support of our ministries of all kinds, the ones that are continuing in our community and our online ministries as well. Thank you for always sharing such good words of support for me and for all the leaders of our churches. It really means so much to us. Usually on the first Sundays of every month, we share Holy Communion, as many churches do. And so no matter what day it is that you are watching this service and participating in it, I hope that you will make that day a, or night a day or night for celebrating Holy Communion as best as we can considering the circumstances and the fact that we are physically separated from each other. We know from the scripture that we are never separated from the love of God. So I ask you, as it is meaningful and possible for you to do so, to gather something to eat or drink um, nearby so that you can celebrate the sacrament in whatever way that you can. You see that we have a table set here um, in remembrance of the Christ who called his friends together on that last night. And so we invite you to do that and to share um, the readings, the music, the prayers, and this time that we will share together. Share it with the people if there are people in your home with you during this stay at home time and spend some time just in worship and in eating and drinking and remembering as Jesus asked his friends to do. So friends, please feel invited to this service. Know that you are loved, that you are welcomed, and that Christ calls everyone to the table because at God's table, there is always room for one more. There is always room for you. 
So welcome, welcome now to this service of worship. 